I am Imaze Miriam Davis. I'm a podiatrist at North Shore Medical Center. I see a lot of patients that have diabetic ulcers, venous ulcers, arterial wounds, sickle cell ulcers, and ulcers that are caused by trauma. One of the biggest challenges that I see with patients living with diabetes is just them actually accepting the fact that they have been diagnosed with the condition diabetes and what it means to them, especially when it comes to having to change their lifestyle. It's very difficult for them to get across that concept of having to change how they eat, the need to exercise, and just the need to be able to understand that diabetes is something that's going to have a huge impact in their entire life and the structure of how they live um, every single day. So one of the problems that I see um, every day with patients with diabetes is that because they're so slow in accepting their condition and understanding that it has great um, implications, they end up delaying their care, especially the ones who have wounds. So the wound patients have a condition which is called neuropathy, which causes them to have a lack of sensation to their feet especially, and with that, they actually have that belief that everything is okay. And unfortunately, that delay in healthcare and delay in seeking proper physicians who know about wounds and being able to use the right products for their wounds, they end up increasing their chances of losing a limb. So we end up seeing this devastating effect of patients with diabetes who delay in their care and end up having to um, increase their chances of of losing a limb in the near future. Patients from this community really do delay in um, getting their health care due to socioeconomical factors. Um, first, you know, just the lack of education on, on the importance of managing their diabetes is an issue. Also, the emphasis that they have on in terms of just being able to provide for their family, being able to go to work is more important than their actual um, health care so these patients find themselves having to choose a lifestyle that is focused more on having to work to survive and, and provide for their family, and they put their health last. Novel therapies like Lavior um, really brings hope, hope to the medical arena when it comes to wound care. I have been taking care of patients now for over 16 years. I understand the frustration of sometimes taking care of wounds that just will not progress, will just not move forward. And you have tried everything, whether it's just debriding them, putting wet to dry on them, and putting whatever hydrogel off the counter that you found, and even using skin substitutes. Those wounds will really benefit from products that are novel, products that will, that will target those areas that we discussed. Um, but my hope really is that with a product like Lavior, finally, um, there's accessibility. You know, patients can access it, providers can access it, and the product is well distributed and is found pretty much everywhere between the doctor's offices, over the counter at Walmart. Um, so therefore, there should not be delay in care. And there's really very little to lose because the product is inexpensive. The process of, of patients sometimes having to get authorization and wait on their insurance companies, which can be very debilitating for them. These hurdles are now going to be overcome with a product that is more affordable and more accessible to the population, especially communities that are underserved.